Who was the one that brought you uh, into wrestling? Into uh, pro wrestling? Yeah. Brad Reagans. Brad Reagans? Brad Reagans, yeah. Brad's a great guy. Have you ever met Brad? No, I haven't. Oh, he's no. great. He's up there in Minnesota. In Minnesota. Yeah. He worked for Vern, and he was. Brad was fourth place in the Olympics, Canadian Olympics, Montreal in 76, and then he was on the, you know, going to be a gold medal in 80. Okay. That big boy got it. And that was his year. Did you already have a contract with New Japan by the time he started training you, or did you have to train in order to get hired? You know, what's funny is, here comes Ken Shamrock back into my life. Yeah. You know, they, um, they had signed Ken Shamrock because they wanted a fighter, an American bad guy, tough fighter, you know, real yeah. fighter, shooter. And um, he took that contract and went to WWE and obviously went that way. So I left them hanging high and dry. And Brad is, um, you know, lifelong friends of Masa Saido and uh, worked with um, Antonio Inoki, you know. Yeah. And so Masa San, Inoki San, and um, Brad, and. Um, geez, I can't think of the fighter, the judo fighter. Ogawa okay. yeah, and Fujita. They all came over to meet me and they flew me up there to, Brad called me on the phone. I'm sorry, I'm missing a big hole in this. Brad called up Jeff Blatnick because Jeff and him were buddies from the from the wrestling, from the Greco. Yeah. Okay, Brad trained Jeff for the 84 gold medal. And so Brad called up late Jeff Blatnick and um, said, who do you have? You know, and God bless Jeff, he recommended me, you know. So then Brad called me up and I uh, spoke with Brad for two or three hours. And uh, then they flew me up there and we went out and had dinner. We all met and it was like, it was like I knew of these guys my whole life. It was really neat. It was really neat. So you were offered an extended contract, obviously. You were there for a while. I worked on a handshake deal for first... Uh, year and it was a real good handshake deal and then um then they signed me to a deal and I burnt the bridge both ends <laughs> they got their money out of me then <laughs> yeah. is it true that kurt henning had a role in your training as well oh yeah kurt was a great guy yeah. kurt was a great guy you know because brad brad loved kurt they like brothers you know it broke his heart when when kurt passed away you know, Brad, Brad's a great guy, he should have a book, you know, he really should. Did Kurt ever play uh, one of his famous ribs on you? Oh my God, oh, he, he H-bombed me, you know. Um, we got on the plane in Minneapolis, to, to, uh, Brad and Kurt and I got on the plane to go over there, he H-bombed me. I didn't wake up for two days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember going into the the country, driving to the hotel, I don't remember anything for two days. Like, where the hell am I? <laughs> Did he ever uh, grapple or shoot wrestle with you at all? Because I know he had a bit of an amateur background. Oh, he'd get in there and play around, yeah. yeah. But then he'd, you know, he'd, he'd fake an injury, you know, for the old Kurt Hennig, you know. <laughs> He fought Antonio Inoki in his retirement match, which was pretty huge. Uh, what did you think about that match? That was amazing. That was amazing. You know, the um, Takiyama-san fight and the Inoki-san fight, the two biggest events, you know, outside my two daughters being born. You know, they just, just amazing event. You know, they had, um, they, you know, it was, it was an event, big giant production, and they had uh, Ali there up on sign, uh, lighting the torch like he did at the 96 Olympics, you know? Yeah. Pretty neat. How did you like being a heel? Because in MMA, you were usually the baby face. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it, you know, because in um, high school wrestling, I, I got booed a few times, you know, at other schools and in college, um, when I was with Oki State and we went up and wrestled Nebraska, you know, I wrestled heavy and then by that time all the fans were on the floor, you know, they left their seats on the floor and we'd, we'd go out, you know, off the mat and everybody was kicking me. <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. That's hilarious. 
And you uh, fought the great Muda a couple of times, who's a big star over there. Any yeah. thoughts on him? Yeah, he's, he's an amazing, he's an amazing uh, wrestler, you know. He, um, super charismatic, he was the best worker on the planet at one yeah. time, you know. He's just amazing. Um, I, I went over there just a few months back, you know, and Muda, Muda-san and I went and saw Takeyama-san. Were you visiting or were you making an appearance? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When you went back a few months ago to Japan? Yeah, it was a wrestling match. Oh, okay. I didn't really work much. Oh, you got in there. You're still getting in the ring. Yeah, I got in the ring. And, um, oh. you know, I got in there and uh, his ten, Tenzon said, you know, they knew my back was bad. So yeah. they said, just take me down, get on me, do the mount, and I'll get the ropes, you know, and then we'll tag out. And then at the end um, of the match, I got uh, Taya. Taya from um, Hawaii has got one. Of, he's on my side. He yeah. is an eight-man tag, and so he's got the the guy tied up. And uh, Chono San comes in with a chair. I take it away, and then I, I caught Taya. <laughs> How did you like being involved in uh, Chono's stable when you were doing that angle? Well, good. I'm back in Chono's stable. That was it. That was oh, you're back in it yeah, now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the angle. I, I betrayed Mudo and went back to Chono. <laughs> How were the fans over there? They must have taken care of you really well because you're both an MMA and a wrestling star. Uh, they were nice. The fans are fantastic over there, you know. And I hear that there's uh, pretty good sponsors, too. With the... Yeah, everything treats you real good. <laughs> Did you Real have- friendly, you know. I mean, um, back when I was there for a fight one time, uh, um, what I'd have, I took five or six guys, right? Uh, you and Steve and a couple of training partners, you know, and yeah, five, about five guys. And we were having dinner at the Sizzler, and some gal, you know, in her fifties, just walks up and grabs the bill. You know, buys our dinner. Hey, what are you doing? She said, oh, this is me. You know, oh, well, thank you. you know, it's amazing. <laughs> you were uh, single for some of the times when you were wrestling in Japan, right? No. No, you always had a wife? I always had a wife, yeah. Okay. Why? <laughs> just, <laughs> Where are you going with this? <laughs> I was just wondering, cause, uh, just because of the females over there. No, everybody. I was a heel to everybody. They were all scared of me, even the women. Oh, they took yeah. it that seriously? Huh? They took it that seriously? Yeah, yeah. They were scared to death of me, which is okay. That way you don't don't have to worry about it, you know? <laughs> Not tempted. <laughs> And you mentioned to me before that uh, superstar Billy Graham, who we interviewed, came to one of your fights. What are your thoughts on him? I love Super Graham. He's just amazing, man. That, that guy is the original, you know, uh, uh, promo guy, you know. I love Terry Funk promos. I love Ric Flair photos, promos. But, you know, Superstar's promos are off the charts, you know. He, he just, you give him uh, little spoon or something, you know, he cut a promo on a spoon, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. He does cut promos on everything. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> well, he's a big fan of yours, and he came to one of your fights in Tucson a while ago, and he has nothing but uh, good things to say about you. Is there any reason you think you didn't get over more as a, or get more jobs in North America as a pro wrestler? I think uh, I have a bad attitude, you know? <laughs> Um, I didn't know how the game was played, you know. Yeah. Um, well, I know too well that it's very political over here. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have wanted to work with NWO anyways, you know. No. They were throwing around a lot of money in those days. Right, but it wasn't, wouldn't have been worth the money. No. The crap that was going on back there. <laughs>